Hey yo, GOAT format players, it's Gil, Brown Magician here, and I have the Canceller Warlords deck, which I've been promising for a while, and I've been working really hard to satisfy everyone who was in the poll, and I created not only a um, Warlords Ojama deck, but I also was able to tech in Spell Canceller, and you'll see how I was able to pull all of this off. So let's go ahead and check out this broken two card combo um which has been so much fun for me lately man uh i've actually had this uh i've been working on this deck since last year and it's something i've always wanted to you know build and i actually was inspired by a japanese burn deck which featured boganian and rivalry of the warlords and it was this crazy build i saw on discord and um this was my take on it and just having ojama trio tokens um, which are beast, and then chaining rivalry, it basically locks your opponent out of using any monsters, which is just insane. Um, so you basically just block them into only being able to set monsters, and if they flip any of those set monsters face up, they just get destroyed instantly. So you can basically lock them out of like BLS summons, Chaos Sorcerer summon, uh, block them from like Premature, Call the Haunted, unless it's a beast monster. So it's just super cool and it's a super crazy lock. Here's the deck profile. It's crazy looking, but let me explain um, how all these pieces work together. And it's a super fun deck and it's, um, you know, definitely more casual, but it's a super fun take on a burn deck. And what I have here is Spell Canceller, which if you didn't know what it is, it's a wind level five and it's a machine type, which is important. And it says spell cards and their effects on the field cannot be activated, negate all spell effects on the field. So with um, <clears throat> basically the purpose of this deck is you have a small machine package in Boganian and Spell Canceller. And Boganian reads once per turn during your standby phase, inflict 600 damage to your opponent. So he's one of your burn cards. And he's also a machine which allows you they work together under Rivalry of Warlords, which says each player can only control one type of monster, send all other face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. So those are the machine monsters that you're trying to set up on your side of the field. You have two jars, you have Sangin, um, and you also have a Lava Golem. The jars, they really just help you speed through the deck, and if you can resolve these, um, you have a pretty strong chance of winning just because you're going to get so many of your burn cards and just really set yourself up. Um, Morphing Jar is also super good, just being able to, you know, dump whatever cards you have in hand, um, but just draw five. That's pretty powerful in a burn deck. And Sangin, of course, can search all of these guys, including Boganian. And Spell Counselor and Big Shield Gardener, let me explain how this works. So Big Shield Gardener obviously eats up Nox to protect your jars. Um, also, what's really good is he can be tributed to special or to tribute summon for Spell Canceller. And this even works under Rivalry of Warlords because with Rivalry of Warlords, you can change types essentially when you tribute the monster. So when you tribute Big Shield, even though he's a warrior, because you're tributing him off, you can switch basically, and now you can just have a machine out. So now you can have machines. So that's how that works under Rivalry of Warlords. Obviously, Big Shield Gardener, he's a good stall card. He can take a hit, and then you can tribute over it for Spell Canceler next turn, and that's kind of the idea with that. Also, it's like they attack into it, and they're you know taking a good chunk of damage too which is nice, and then eats Nox for your, you know, to protect your jars. So I just really like Big Shield Gardener, and I always like to set it first. Um, yeah, I'm running such a small spell lineup because I'm running the two spell cancelers. You know, I definitely think you could get away with more spells if you really wanted to, um, but I don't know. I just really committed to the spell canceler, and I just... I played variants of the deck where I had other spell cards and it just really sucked when you had spell counselor up and you draw into your spells because they're completely dead. Um, so yeah, 
I just ran with only these three. Snatch is really spicy with Rivalry of Warlords because you can snatch their monster, bring it onto your side of the field, and destroy it immediately um, if it doesn't match the type that you have. So it's just an interesting card, and obviously it synergizes with Spell Canceler. And you go Snatch Steal first, take their monster, then tribute over it with Spell Canceler, which is perfect. Um, I'm playing Double Wall of Revealing Light because in most traditional burn builds, they have four stall cards, and obviously I have the two gravity binds, and I just needed something else to stall. That was something that I found was hurting the deck. I couldn't protect my Boganians, um, so I just needed extra stall cards. So two Wall of Revealing Lights, their traps, um, you know, pay some light points, and basically you can just sit on this uh, forever until they can get rid of it. And if you have Spell Canceler, uh, the whole dream come true is that if you have Spell Canceler, they can't Heavy Storm all of your back row so that's kind of like the dream and why i squeezed spell canceler in plus the poll it was either spell canceler or uh warlord ojamas and i combined the two together and i had this super spicy build of a burn build with all these traps that are protected by spell canceler as kind of like the boss monster then we have a uh, ring of destruction we have ceasefire Call of the Haunted is so dope in this deck because uh, when I, I'll go over it in the stratagems later, but you can do really nasty things with Call of the Haunted and Spell Canceler. Then we have our classic burn cards. We have uh, Triple Secret Barrel, Triple Just Desserts, Triple Ojama. Ojama has the extra synergy with Triple Rivalry of Warlords, just makes it so awkward for the opponent to play this too kind of acts as a stall system because if you have rivalry and ojama turn one it's nasty uh that's one of my favorite parts about this deck nightmare wheel this is another great stall card because you could just snipe their face downs stop them from flipping their magician of fates face up i've had people quit um, or make up excuses as soon as i snipe their faith uh set face down and then they're just like oh i gotta go and you go back into replays and yeah, you snipe their faith and they're just salty. So sniping faith, uh, sniping any of their, you know, jars with this, keeping it locked face down is really nice. Um, also, you know, really uh, just blocking their monsters from attacking in to stall. So you can tribute for spell canceler next turn is good. And <clears throat> yeah, it's just another burn card as well. Um, triple solemn judgment to protect everything. We run one fake trap to protect we have so many continuous traps in this deck we have call of the haunted we have all of our stall cards we have nightmare wheel we have our rivalry of course i'm playing one zings and who um, i really like this tech because when people see you setting a bunch of back row usually they'll set a bunch of back row too so it's nice when you have zing ready and you just say oh you're gonna set two back row well now i just turn them off and it's kind of like a mini decree um, but only for, you know, only against your opponent. So this is my crazy build. I kind of have like a smokescreen side where I side out, you know, my spell cancelers and I just go into this crazy heavy spell lineup um, with burn cards. And it's fun. Um, haven't really tested it too much. But yeah, I really like this deck. I think you could definitely change Zing, Ceasefire, and Fake Trap. Maybe you could just put in three Jar of Greeds. I don't know. Um, you could speed through your trap lineup faster, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is my deck. Let's go into the stratagems. This deck's been really fun in testing. Like I said, Ojama plus Warlords, your opponent is just locked out of monsters, unless they're running beasts, which not typically, you know, not everyone's running beasts, so it doesn't always work all the time. Um, so it's just really fun when you go turn one, and then you just block them out of all of their monsters. They can't special summon BLS. You know, they're not able to special summon Chaos Sorcerer. They're not able to special summon Gigantes, Fenrir, you know, any of those. Um, banish one and then special summon. You just can't do it with Ojama and Warlords because they can only summon Beast. Um, yeah, you can block uh, Scapegoat, uh, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think Scapegoat tokens, those are Beasts, but they wouldn't be able to do that anyways if you had um you know if you had ojama up because you'd be blocking three of their zones 
you can block things like premature. You can block things like call the haunted uh, recruiters uh, can't bring out their guys. So it's just really unwieldy uh, to work around. And like I said, if you pull this off turn one, it feels pretty nasty. Um, plus the trio tokens, um, they can't be tributed for a tribute summon. They can be used for things like Monster Gate or Reasoning. But even that is such a problem for Reasoning Gate decks because if they tribute off, um, let's say, one of the tokens for a Monster Gate, well, guess what? Beast is already the declared monster type for them. So whatever they summon is just going to get destroyed right away, um, right after it gets summoned. So Snatch plus Rivalry, that can also clear opponent monsters. So let's say we control Spell Canceler. We use Snatch. Oh, well, you can't use Snatch Steel. But let's say you controlled Boganian, which is a machine, and then you use Snatch Steel to take their BLS. Um, their BLS would get killed because our side, our type is already machine. And if we pulled BLS onto our side, it would just get blown up. So you can do interesting things with that. Like I said before, Big Shield does so many things. Absorbs Nox for your jars. It can be tributed for Spell Canceler under Rivalry. And then my favorite thing is if you have Spell Canceler and you have the Ojama Warlord lock, basically they have no spells and they can't use any monsters, which is just nuts. And you guys already know the dream of being a burn deck and not worrying about MST or Heavy Storm. So having Spell Canceler, it just turns off all of their spells. They can't use Pod, they can't use Graceful, they can't use MST. You're just building all these traps, you're burning them. And then my favorite is Call the Haunted plus a Canceler in the Graveyard because then you just have Chainable Spell Negate and it's so nasty. You can bait opponents into using Heavy Storm. Chain Call the Haunted, Special Summon, Spell Canceler. Now their Heavy Storm's negated. You protect your back row. It's just super nifty. This is just a super fun deck. I hope you guys check it out. This one was a lot of fun. And I hope, you know, I got a new job and I'm going to be working much closer to home. So I'm hoping to be releasing more profiles for you guys. And I actually have some really dope stickers um, that I've been hand making that I want to debut on the channel soon. And I don't know if anyone, if anyone would be interested in some like hand painted Yu-Gi-Oh stickers, but uh, that'll be something else that's coming down the pipeline. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck and I'll be releasing some replays soon. Peace.